Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Car. Today we're going to do a little bit of pickups for the week. I went to an LCS, bought some cards, and got in a couple breaks here. Um, don't do much breaks, but I just couldn't resist the value that I got in them. Um, so, I pulled the trigger on them. So, let's, let's start with the breaks a little bit. Um, well, let's do the pickups. We'll do the first lower tier break. This is basketball. I don't get into much basketball breaks. But, like I said, once again, the price was just, it was like a select half case break or something. I got some pretty real good value out of it. Didn't hit really much in it. So they sent us some of the stuff here. I think I had, I uh, had the Orlando Magic, of course, in it. Didn't get much out of that. Got an Anthony Black right there. Then I did get the Thunder. So we got a bunch of, um, uh, Mimic right there. There's a uh, die cut of him right there. Uh, then also got Orange Thunder right there. There's another one right there, courtside. So uh, and then we also got the Warriors. Well, I was tickled to death Warriors. No real um, good rookies other than Pajinkas, but um, we got a lot of Steph Curry right there, which is the, um, I think, mezzanine. Yeah, mezzanine level. So not bad there. Got a dig at a scope of Clay Thompson there. And some of the better ones here. I think that was one of the better ones there. Porzinski Par right there, which is a, what is that? Concourse level, so kind of a base there. So, eh, wasn't the greatest, but eh, it is what it is. All right. Uh, the other break I got into, I actually got pretty lucky on it. Um, I actually got this free, believe it or not. Jaron Jackson autograph. Triple J. And this is, what is this, uh, out of 25, and it's 2021-22, so it's, I don't think it's his rookie, but the contenders right there, Triple J, definitely not his rookie, um, but it's out of 25, and I got this free. And you can, I ain't going to tell you where I got it at, but you can probably tell by that sticker right there. Um, another hit, let's see, I got the Baltimore. I got, oh, who else did I get? Was it the... I never forgot. I never forgot. Baltimore hit the best. I'll just put it like that. So I got a Darren Fox, which is the Baltimore. He also will be collected because it's multi-sport, right? So I got a Darren Fox, uh, Jim Mint 10, uh, 2019, and this is out of 25. So another one out of 25. I don't know if you can see it right there. So, but nice one right there, D Fox. Uh, got a bunch of Orioles, which I was tickled to death with because this guy's on fire right here. Now it is a nine, a mint nine, but still. A 2019 Bowman Draft Gunner Henderson Chrome Sapphire Edition. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Don't know why I got a nine, but... And we got one, but we got two of the exact same card that hit in the same break. I was, like I said, tickle. He's on fire. Gunner Henderson. That's two Sparkles Sapphire Editions. And these things was outrageously expensive now. I did get Atlanta, and I got one of my best players, unfortunately... As I'm making this video, he is out for the season, but so his card market has gone down a lot now, or will go down. Hopefully, be back next year for sure. But I uh, don't think I have a Gen Mint 10 of the 2018 Tops Chrome. I think I sent one or two in. I got nines in my PC, but now I got a 10. But still tickled to death. Ronald Acuna Jr., one of my favorite players, a Gen Mint 10 for Tops Chrome, one of his iconic rookie cards right there. So I like that. And my last Baltimore, he come up. And didn't do as hot. I'm hoping his second time up, he's going to do a lot better. But I did get a Chrome Refractor Gem Mint 10 of Jackson Holiday, his first. So that was the breaks that I was in. Um, and like I said, uh, it wasn't much, like say like 40 or 50 bucks a team, something like that. It wasn't that much and got all those hits out of it, so I'm tickled. All right, my last thing is pickups uh, at the local LCS. And you tell me whether I did a good or bad. Now, they have prices posted on these on the card. I will tell you, I did not pay... Uh, nowhere near some of these prices, but um, I think I still got a, a big deal on it because we had to negotiate because one of the stickers on it was almost like more than double what the card is selling for. So, but we'll start off with something that just an eye catcher right there. A little Franco Harris and running back for the Steelers. I mean, it's a little off centered, yeah, for sure, but this is a 1976 card, Harris, All Star Series. So, um, Nice little card, three bucks, probably paid like, I'm going to say a couple bucks for it, something like that. So, it's in pretty good condition, corners are nice and 
you know, they're not rounded or nothing like that for a 76 card. It is off-centered a little bit. It does have a little ding in that bottom left corner, as you can see right there, but not too bad for a 76 card. I got that for three bucks. Put that in the back background. And I used to have a lot of these cards, but man, my condition that I kept them in back in the day when I was growing up, it just wasn't there. But this is a Warren Moon Ricky card. Had it listed for 15 bucks. Probably got for like 10, something like that. Um, but as you can see, the corners are pretty good shape for a 85 card. Nice little Warren Moon iconic quarterback right there. I have probably one or two of these cards up, but none of them graded. This is probably one that could grade in as a possible like seven or eight range. I'm thinking something like that. So um, maybe pushing a nine. I don't know. It's black border. You know how that goes, right? So we'll put that up front. And look at there. I uh, couldn't pass this up. A nice clean black bordered car. A little bit of touch up at the top right corner, not much, but a nice little Mark McGuire right there. The centering one looks pretty good. A little bit thicker over here on the left side than the right side. I'm thinking it's going to get eight or nine, something like that. But for ten bucks, probably got it for like eight, let's just say. Uh, seven or eight range, so um, not a bad little Mark McGuire. All right. Not a big Cowboys fan, but you can't deny good old Emmett Smith, rookie card here. This is back in uh, 1990, Emmett Smith, traded, top traded card. So these only come in the little box. You couldn't pull it. Uh, as you can see, the little T right up there, 27T. So, um, but yeah, nice little Emmett Smith, top traded rookie card right there. Um, centering on this looks pretty good. Look at it. Um, the corners, nice and sharp that I can see. Uh, I just glanced at it. Probably got this for like 15 bucks. So. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to at least get a 9, well, maybe a 10, you never know. I'll set that up there. All right. Don't have his rookie card, so I figured, you know, prices was pretty good on it. Nice little clean rookie card of Dwayne Wade. Good old Hall of Famer right there. So, got it with the one touch there. I think this is the same year the LeBron James, right? Rookie card's in, so... Uh, super clean little card, good, nice, and centered it is. I haven't taken it out, but just looking at it, it looks pretty clean. So I'm assuming it's going to get eight or nine at least uh, on it, and probably a good grading candidate, especially if you get a nice 10 out of it, right? But no, you can't go bad with a Dwayne Wade. A couple other PC pickups here. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do with it. We'll see if this person is actually looking at this video, if he comments below or not. But Chris Paul rookie card. It says 40 bucks, got a little bit less than that, but nice, clean Chris Paul, one of his favorite players of all time. We'll see if you can guess who um, who I got this for. I'm, saying, uh, I'm going to probably send this off to be graded. Probably going to be a present for him or something like that, but I'll, you let him go ahead and see it. I don't care. But a nice Chris Paul rookie card. And you couldn't go wrong with the next one. Another Wake Forest player. Rookie card of Timmy D. Probably one of the best players to come out of Wake Forest. Uh, but a nice um, Topps Chrome um, Tim Duncan. Now, this is the year where uh, they turn green a little bit. Uh, as far as colors, you can see right there. It's got like a little green finish to it or whatever. A little bit of mini Hulk action. But the back of the color looks nice and clean and, co and colorful and stuff like that. So it's a nice, clean, centered card here. Uh, 80 bucks was nowhere near what these are selling for raw. So we had to do some negotiation and, and we got it down to a reasonable level. So nice to add a nice Tim Duncan uh, possible to the PC or don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So we will see. So I'll probably send it off to be graded. Hopefully get a 9 at least. Maybe a 10. Don't know how the green is going to come into effect on it. Uh, if at all. I'm, I'm not experienced enough as far as grading the cards that has that type of uh, problems back in the day. Um, but this is a, was it a 97? I think it is. 98. Excuse me. I can't see. I'm getting old. Uh, but anyway, nice Tim Duncan rookie card. So that's it. That's some of my pickups this week. Great blow. Do you like these type of pickups? Do you like the vast thing that I kind of grabbed and gravitated to towards? Um, some of these are Hall of Famers. Some of them won't be, but I like them regardless. So, But yeah, comment below if you like these type of videos. Some of my pickups that I get at the local LCS every now and then when I come down there. So appreciate everybody tuning in. Y'all keep on ripping.
Clark Sports Cards out.